So not only are Donald Trump's polls crashing, his campaign is crashing, frankly, his entire life is crashing. And with that included is his Trump media stock, which is crashing. It's always projection and confession with Donald Trump. He probably saw what was on the horizon after the massive losses being incurred by Trump media. And remember about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago, Donald Trump tried to crash our stock market by putting in all caps, it's crashing, I told you so, exclamation point. Despite the fact that the stock market is up right around 50% since Donald Trump stopped disgracing the office and the Biden-Harris administration uh, came into the White House. But now we got the latest quarterly, quarterly results from Trump media, and here's what we have learned. And on that announcement, Donald Trump's stock is crashing. It is tanking. And what has Donald Trump also done? Well, he's done with his exclusivity in posting on Trump media, and he went to X and Elon Musk after posting or rather emailing his supporters, I love Elon Musk. Elon Musk loves me. He endorses me. I love you too, Ben. Remember those emails that he was sending? So he goes back on X also, which is a massive red flag, in my opinion, for investors of Trump Media. Here's what we learned from the quarterly earning report from Trump Media. The company behind former President Donald Trump's social media platform, Truth Social, reported a net loss of $16.4 million in the second quarter on Friday. Revenue fell to $836,000 from $1.19 million a year earlier, a 30% hit. By the way, $1.19 million in revenue for Trump Media, a company which is purportedly a massive valuation. It was only earning $1.1 million in total revenue on massive, massive losses. And right here, we know that it only total revenue earned $836,000 on a $16.4 million loss. So what that means is that Trump Media has reported just so far through uh, August, based on the two quarterly reports that have been made public thus far, Trump Media has reported $343 million in losses this year alone. Let me repeat that, $343 million in losses this year alone. So you take a look at the Trump Media stock and you look at it over the course of, uh, let's look at, first off, let's look at the past day, down 5%. Let's look at the past month, down about 20%. Let's look at the past six months, down 45%. It's now trading at $24.88. Also, you have a ton of people right now on Reddit and other, and other uh, social media platforms who were uh, purportedly supporters of this Trump media stock saying things like this. He's on Twitter now, so I'm out of here. You might have a point. Him and Elon have been buddy-buddy lately. Money talks. Went from against EVs to pro-EV just because of Elon. Trend line of Trump media going to zero about the beginning of November. Interesting. The current five-month long downward trend predicts Trump media to go to zero at about the beginning of November, according to this person's opinion. I wonder why that might be. LOL. And then someone responds, so in November, do we buy the dip? And someone responded, this time there won't even be a dead cat bounce. You'll have to pay someone at least the cost of the transaction to take it off your hands so you can get the tax loss if you have enough money left to even owe taxes. Now, Elon Musk announced that Donald Trump was returning to X, formerly Twitter, with this very creepy message that says Donald Trump is back on X. I mean, this is just some really weird stuff. And then they were supposed to do last night this spaces on Elon Musk's uh, uh, X where, where Donald Trump was going to be doing this interview and it malfunctioned right away. So Elon Musk immediately posted that there was like a hack and there was an attack. 
Um, and that that's why it was down. Nobody could like get into this thing. And it was such a massive embarrassment. By the way, when you looked at those who got into it, I'm reflecting back on Donald Trump campaign spokesperson's post that said more people watch CNN than DeSantis Twitter space when there was 303,000 people listening. And when Trump was trying to get in or when this space this Twitter spaces was trying to function. There was only 194,000 people. And just look at some of these comments right here. David Pakman, I just came here looking for the Trump Musk interview. Twitter freezes whenever I click on it. What's going on? Another comment. In awe that anybody still thinks Elon is some mega genius. He's clearly an effing idiot. Let's not put people who can figure out how to freaking live stream an interview in year of our Lord 2024 in charge of the nuclear arsenal. Another day, another complete disaster for Donald Trump and his campaign. He just keeps spiraling. What a total failure. As our friend Brian Tyler Cohen wrote, Trump screwed over his truth social investors and let the stock tank by posting on Twitter all in anticipation of an interview that doesn't even work. Jim Acosta trying to get on. So this is fine. The space is not available. Peter Henline writes, so some volunteers of Kamala were able to organize the world's largest Zoom call in history a few days after she became the nominee, but the Trump camp and Elon Musk can't start an X space on time on the site Musk personally owns. There isn't even video here. Not good, we wrote on the Midas Touch account. This is yet another massive embarrassment for the Trump campaign, an utter disaster. Elon goes, there appears to be a massive DDoS attack on X working on shutting it down. Worst case, we will proceed with a smaller number of live listeners and we were going to post that conversation later as this account political science ba writes so elon hosting trump on his website that doesn't work so they can both say it was only because so many people tuned in and as brian tyler cohen said donald trump stopped his exclusivity deal with trump media so previously he was exclusive to Truth Social and he had to post on Truth Social. And to the extent there was supposed to be value there, it was that that was the exclusive place Trump would post on, right? As you can see, even with the exclusivity, I mean, losing close to $350 million this year on what last quarter's revenue was eight hundred, like $840,000. What kind of value are you actually bringing there? I mean, in, in, in general. Um, but Donald Trump's no longer exclusive there. He started posting on X in anticipation of the spaces that was just a complete and utter disaster. And now his shareholders are going to be left holding the bag. You remember when the special purpose acquisition company was first announced, I was raising the red flag and I know it spiked up and then down and then up and then down. You know, I said, look, Usually when you're looking at a SPAC, special purpose acquisition company, acquisition of a private company, the private company has a history of revenue, net profit, EBITDA, earnings before interest, depreciation, taxes, and amortization to give some sort of valuation of it. So right now, what is the total, the total revenue for the past year is like what, $1.5 million, under $2 million with $330 million loss. How would you even value that? I mean, if anything, in my view, this is my opinion, any type of value would be a penny stock at most. Again, that's my opinion because what are you going to do? You're going to apply a multiplier of what? Of, of the revenue? Why would you even do that where you have such massive losses? So um, the fact that it's valued where it is, you know, to me was like always like a massive red flag. And then there are people like, well, there are lots of companies that have lost money that have still had high valuations. Yeah, but those companies had growing revenue, not declining revenue. And their growing revenue was in the, you know, was in like high nine, 10 figure revenue, you know, and growing like, you know, so you can see, all right, if the trends continue, that's why, and if you can get to profitability, then that's why those companies were valued the way it is. But I always thought this Trump stock, in my view, was like a total meme and scam stock. Again, I'm just giving you my opinion, not giving you stock advice. And, you know, we're seeing right now what I expected was going to happen. And I think it's going to get progressively worse. Let me just share this with you. 
This right here um, is from the disclosure that Trump was required to file with the SEC when he made Trump Media a public company. When you make a company public, you have to disclose your prior bankruptcies and your prior failed businesses. And if you don't, you can immediately get sued for that. It's a failure of disclosure violation. You can get sued right away. So this is coming from Trump. So if you have a friend who thinks that Trump is a good businessman in the past, let me just read from you Trump's own disclosure where he had to fill out his past failures. Let me just share this with you. So this is Trump who wrote this. His lawyers wrote it on his behalf. A number of companies that were associated with Donald Trump have filed for bankruptcy. There can be no assurances assurances that Trump media will not also become bankrupt. Entities associated with Trump have filed for bankruptcy protections in the past. The Trump Taj Mahal, which was built and owned by Donald Trump, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 1991. The Trump Plaza, the Trump Castle, and the Plaza Hotel, all owned by Donald Trump at the time, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 1992. THCR, which was was founded by Trump in 1995, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2004. Trump Entertainment Resorts, the new name given to Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts, after its 2004 bankruptcy, declared bankruptcy in 2009. While all the foregoing were in different businesses, than Trump media, there can be no guarantee that Trump media's performance will exceed the performance of those entities that are bankrupt. And then there go, the disclosure continues. A number of companies that had license agreements with Trump have failed. There can be no assurances that Trump media will also not fail. Then it goes and talks about Trump shuttle launched by Trump in 1989, defaulted on its loans in 1990 and ceased to exist by 1992. Trump university founded by Trump in 2005 ceased operations in 2011 amid lawsuits and investigations regarding that company's business practices. Trump Vodka, a brand of vodka produced by Drinks America under license from Trump Organization, was introduced in 2005 and discontinued in 2011. Trump Mortgage, LLC, a financial service company founded by Trump in 2006, ceased operations in 2007. GoTrump.com, a travel site founded by Trump in 2006, ceased operation in 2007. Trump Steaks, a brand of steak and other meats founded by Trump in 2007, discontinued sales two months after its launch. While these businesses are in different industries than Trump Media, there can be no guarantee that Trump Media's performance will exceed the performance of these entities. Well, we're seeing Trump Media's performance now, not just dismal, abysmal. And this is as Donald Trump's campaign is crashing as well. Everything around Donald Trump crashes. Everything Donald Trump touches dies. He is a destroyer, not a builder. And let's make sure that America doesn't become Donald Trump's next bankrupt entity. We're better than that, America. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.